little so glad to be part of the Easy Slice family. And Kasha, our Hi, resident guys. foodie, <laughs> is here. She knows all things food. And so you're going to make an epic charcuterie board for us, I right? Am. Yes, today that's yeah. what I, we are making together. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm going to help a little bit as soon as Dallas lets me put him down because of course he came <laughs> running over as soon as we started. So epic charcuterie boards have been the rage now. Give us the scoop on these boards. Okay, so what they are basically the epic Part. It's just you can take any food and basically create a board out of it. So what we're going to do today is kind of create a breakfast and meat and cheese board because, I mean, who doesn't like a good brunch board? Exactly. Um, however, there are restaurants right now that are taking the epic charcuterie and doing things like taco boards. They're doing like Korean boards, sushi boards. So you can get really creative and really take your epic charcuterie boards to the next level. For sure. So and especially for Valentine's Day. Yes. It beautiful. doesn't just have to be just your normal. I mean, you could do dessert boards you know right. like think of your like ice cream sundaes you could just do your sunday toppings and then just put different ice creams on there so yeah. i mean you could make these really fun you could do so we might have kids, a whole series coming up you just never know what might be happening here in the, in yeah the future, it's all about right? creativity fun you're doing things from home enjoy having all these little like you know it's all about the toppings and the creations, right. you know, and I it's mean, it's like art, it's like food art. Yeah. yeah. Imagine when you're in your kitchen, you have all these small little dishes. I mean, I love collecting these. So I like to see how much stuff I have in my cabinets that I can make things out of and put right. them in these dishes. Exactly. <laughs> and these are fun little ramekins I just picked up at the dollar store. Love those. <laughs> we just decorate and deck them out with all kinds of goodies in them. Okay. So where do we start? Okay. So I basically go to the store and just pick out a bunch of things that I think that I would like friends would like to eat. So uh, again, starting with the basic charcuterie board. So I picked out a salami um, and then a uh, suppresso here. So you can get a hot one. I just got a general one here, a prosciutto. And then we did start as well. We're going to put a waffle. We made a little mini this one. This was our tester waffle. Yeah. Not so big on that one. That's Victoria's size. Yeah. That's my daughter's size. <laughs> but still going to be delicious. And we're going to like cut these up, show you how you can put those on here. That's when Akasha first introduced me to a charcuterie boards that were epic. I saw the waffle on there. I was like, oh, that takes it to a whole new level. There's people doing bagel ones too. That's like awesome. how freaking good do those sound? <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, really good. Waffles, awesome. though, that just really turned me on because I really love um, butter and <laughs> syrup and then nice. anything with like meats and cheeses. So, right. I'll um, have to find the syrup for us. Okay, let's get to it. I okay, also girls. love putting some fruit just for the color to pop yeah. that out. Um, so, I don't know if you ever go to like a restaurant and then you're buying a meats and cheese boards. Sometimes they put a jam on there and that's like the only color. I like fruits on mine, so I figured if we're doing the charcuterie breakfast, epic. We're definitely going to put some raspberries, we're going to put some strawberries, and guys, for Valentine's Day, we're going to be that. doing little strawberry ones that like little hearts. have hearts. I love it. So, I don't know if you can see this here, but we have little heart here, and then yep, I can show you it. how we're going to cut them up here as well. Nice. So Very just nice. little ones, and you guys can do this too at home for your She's kids, family us. members. Yeah. Super, super, super easy, easy to do yeah. for like, takes five seconds. And it makes easy, your kids, easy. it makes your family <laughs> members just feel great. <laughs> all right. So, Alrighty. So should we start with the waffle? Yeah, let's start, start with, with making a... a waffle first. Okay. So that nice. way we can start with like the base of everything. Awesome. So let's just lock that in place. A little more spray on here. I went ahead and pre mix this, but um, I'm gonna let you guys know I use a Bisquick mix. That's my favorite. It's nice and creamy. Um, and then for my secret is that I put in a little pinch of sugar nice. and a little bit of vanilla. Tell us all your secrets. That's just my secret. It. And honestly, it's on the side of the Bisquick box. It's not really like a huge <laughs> secret. You can put a little bit of lemon juice in there too, but that's the secret. So, what does the lemon juice do? Um, you know, I don't know. It di no, it's just like a little squeeze of it, it just makes it like. I don't know. Just gives huh. it that little like little zest, surprise. yeah. Yes. And then sometimes you can put a little bit of like a uh, baking powder if you want them to be more puffy. But, oh, there you so go. So there's a little, little trick secrets. for you. Need to pour it in there. Yep. Go ahead and pour just a okay. little bit. But you went ahead and sprayed our Chefman waffle maker. Now this one's the Volcano Chefman waffle maker. I love this thing. It's right. so great. And we thin it out a little bit. I feel like that may be a little thin, but we're gonna just keep. Or it was so thick that it was like yeah that's made why we this ended little up thing. <laughs> okay, I feel like that should be plenty. Because what happens with the volcano is that it starts filling up here. Yep. When you, yep, that's gonna be plenty. 
and then it's gonna puff up. Okay. All right, very exciting I over love here. This. Here's my reach. All you right. Like mine? <laughs> okay, let's hope that doesn't overflow. <laughs> We're just watching the waffle maker now. <laughs> and it puffs up. Normally, if it puffs up a little bit, I take the spoon and like shuffle it back in there. Yeah. there. yeah. So. Uh, and then I brought tongs too, so when it's ready, we can just. We can pull it off of there. Yeah. Awesome. So, and so are you going to put things on the waffle itself? Should we? Um, so when it's ready, we can put it on here. But so while that's cooking, I can show you like the prosciutto. I always like they're separated with paper. So you can just make these kind of like fold them. Oh, like look pretty. at you. A little artistic chickadee there. Nice. And we bought, I never would have thought of folding those. I mean, you kind of like do it like a little flower. I mean, you don't have right. to make it like super special or anything. That was literally just me. That looks super it special to me though. Right. It, that, I mean, that actually looks super special. And I just, the only reason I figured out how to do that is because I watched my friend make a charcuterie board and literally just ah. take it from the bottom it's and like just kind of like, fold thing, like you yeah, do the paper. like little fortune <laughs> cookie things. And like you just kind of roll it up like that and then nice. you just stick them together. And so I that know. way when people peel them off your board, they're like peeling them nice. just like that, like a little just flower. Nice. It up. nice. Okay. How do you think this is? Should we leave that or should we scoop I think that leave out? for another couple seconds. Okay. And then I think it'll be ready. Okay, I should probably get syrup, right? We need yes, syrup. we're gonna need syrup for these waffles, for sure. Now, I got some flowers as well. Of course, as Julia told us to for Valentine's. So took off some of the rose petals as well. Uh, also Julia's idea and just put them for decoration here underneath the cheese. Definitely a nice way to just decorate your board. You know, Julia, our like, videographer, by the way, just got to give her a shout out because she's pretty fabulous. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's getting all those close angles, showing you right. what we did here Making with the hungry. roses. Right. Oh, nice. Just got to make everything look, at look like. Look flowers you made out of that. Nice. And everything here that you see, I mean, can easily be done. I mean, without grocery time shopping, which if you're like me, you can do it pretty quickly. If, if you're like, like Leah, me, you can take all day. <laughs> it just depends. <laughs> um, I have, that's my most fun part, honestly, is just because you can just go through the store um, and just have as much fun as you want. But I go pretty quickly, pick out what I want because I make my list ahead of time. And then th that takes me probably 30 minutes. And then just making the boards about 30 minutes. Nice. This we did all just for presentation, yes, so you know, but fancy. Um, when I get in the kitchen, I just really tear up my kitchen and just have a good time with it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? No one's watching me. Right. Turn on some jams, have a good time. Right. And so you can see here, like what I did with the prosciutto when I did it, I just kind of like trickled it down. And if you have more, you can make like a really cool like pattern to separate your cheeses. Nice. So you kind of like made this kind of swirly move happening with the crackers yeah. and then kind of. You could do it too, nice. like half and half and do like your regular board and then just do half, to, you know, breakfast if you well, want. you could do that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, the rest of us are learning. Yes. <laughs> it's all about honestly with fun uh, with food sorry it's just about having fun it's true playing around a little bit with it yeah yep. I, a lot of people Being i think fearless. Get, yeah they get oh it has to be perfect no right. it's fun it's, it's never really perfect yeah it's all about fun <laughs> now this is um one of the salamis that i got so and this is just one of the knives that i love to cook with, or cut with um it's an easy slice knife an easy slice yep so literally i'm just like cutting it easily that way or you can just cut like super easy knives to cut with. And I love them because these are a great extra just to have on your charcuterie board. Now this is a smaller one. This is yours favorite, yep. I believe. Okay. Yep. I love that one. I'll be honest, this one's my favorite. She just knows <laughs> how to wield those knives, so she's gonna use the larger ones. <laughs> I have I also do a food truck thing. So this is always my favorite size size knife, unless right. it's a bigger one. Um, but I just prefer this size. I think it's because the size of my hand. I feel like I have bigger size hands. Right, you can grab hold of it. Nice. Yeah, and then you can cut them, you know, in fours. You could make hearts. You can do whatever you want and get creative and have fun. And then we also have these fun ramekins too. So again, you could put like your oh, little meats in here. All right, let's pull it up. Let's see how it looks. I'm thinking we might need to. Okay, that's unlock. unlock. Okay. okay. Oh, yep. we might be done. Oh, hey, that is the perfect waffle. Awesome. All right, let's see. Woohoo. Let's go ahead and put that bad boy Good up in here. Work. We... All right. Oh, here, I'll do it from this way so you can see. Oh, look at that. Get right underneath there. Oh, I don't want to. 
a little hot, a little hot. Okay, okay, Kasha, you come here, work the tongs. Okay. You do your thing, sister. How did I get it out? I guess because it was such a small one earlier. There we go. Aha! Nice. So, I don't know what I would do. Cut it into four. Okay, Just got it. Cut it, it into four. Nice. Nice. Can you see that? Smooth it out of the way a little bit. Look at that. Go, Love guys. it. You can just see it like that right there. Nice. Do if you wanted to. Just oh, there you go. The little hard nice. strawberries on there. I'm kind of feeling Decorate like I it. should maybe uh, warm up that syrup a little bit so we can and drizzle nice it on yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get on that. So see, the charcuterie board is just all about like having fun, putting everything out, displaying it. Because when people come by, they're just going to like nibble and grab and, right. you know, just have a little mimosa, hang out. <laughs> sparkling juice, whichever right. you like. Whatever you like. And then the other part when you're doing a charcuterie board too, is you don't have to cut down all the meats and cheeses. That's what a lot of people um, do. And I, I did that at first too. So maybe cut up to like half, maybe even two thirds. Nice thing is too, is it, it looks more professional. So when you're doing it, you just cut down and then you can stack your meats like this. So it looks like you're actually, you know, kind of going to like a wine testing and. Nice, kind of building it. Yeah, so you're, yeah. you know, just like, kind of like building the story, but instead you're like building your charcuterie. Right, I love it. It's like my fairy garden, but with food. So many cool little things. And this one is like my favorite, the suppressa. Mm. And what do you like about that? I like that it's like spicy and hot. It's like a kind of like a uh, prosciutto almost, but mm. the more little spice and mix between the salami, I guess, like the spiciness of it. Mm. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, right. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that syrup smells really good. Oh, gosh. Good that too. syrup, everything. <laughs> right. Now, are you uh, like a. Aunt Jemima type of person, Miss Butterworth, or do you like the real type of syrup? Uh, you know, sometimes when I would travel up to uh, Canada quite a bit, I would bring back some good Canadian maple syrup. Mm, it's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah, the so, real thing. But you know, I mean, truth be told, um, I love syrup, period. So any, any syrup is a good syrup to me. Yeah, <laughs> I like good. anything with sugar, butter, <laughs> you know. The butter part is like my favorite. I'll go to, yeah. I'll, and like get waffles or pancakes and people are like, are you gonna put syrup? No, just the butter part is like my, That's my key. That's really good, yep, good stuff. Okay, so, so looking good. Yeah, it's I'm mainly just like about it. having fun. Yeah. And then for your cheeses too, so here's like another thing you could do, you can cut it diagonally. You okay. wanna do it? Sure. Have some fun with it. Like this? Yep. Okay. And that way you have some like different, like see how pretty nice. it is when you make different shapes versus just right. the same. And then that's the other thing I was saying is like you can put them different angles. So and then we'll put this cheese here. Oh. So that way you have different, like gotcha. you can, doesn't just have to be one way. You and know, then you people don't have to approach the board from one side. Yes. You can sort of like work your way around or if it's in the middle of a table or an island like we have here, you can kind of get to different uh, parts. Cool. And people think, oh, well, well, it's just one thing or I can't do this or I can't do that. No, like you can work any way through the board. Nice. You oh, know? I love it. Okay, you keep working it. I'm going to just check in on our chat since we're live. Okay, so perfect. So my computer. So now I used a Havarti cheese. Um, I did use all organics too. Um, so I did a Havarti cheese. I did a Gouda cheese. And then I also did this cheese here, which is like a ghost pepper um, Gouda. And, oh gosh, it's so good. So these I'm just cutting. Now this one's a softer, um, I believe this one's a Gouda as well. But it's so delicious and I love the way it just kind of like, oh no, this one's a cheddar, sorry. This one does crumble a little bit more. And again, I'm just keeping this block so you do have that regular. And what's really nice too, I don't have any here, but you can always make your own little um, signs for what kind of cheese it is. Or if you're like me and you just like cheese, you don't really care what kind you're gonna get, just go for it. Looking good there, Kasha, I love it. Thank you. Nice. All right, let's see this. All right, glad to answer any questions. 
hope you are Alrighty. inspired to make a charcuterie board. Epic. An epic. Epic charcuterie right. board. Yeah, and there's so many things you could do. I mean, you could make it with your, your salsas, your tacos, the sushi, Japanese food, Korean food. I think it's really cool that, you know, these are getting the bangle ones pretty cool. I mean, I was looking, again, these are really like new, um, not a lot out there on them yet. So I'm really excited to see what people are gonna be doing with them. Right. So kind of wanted to grab at the chance, you know, why they're still new. So also some things that I like to throw on there are pita chips and nice. cinnamon pita chips. Nice. For the breakfasty kind of taste. Right. I also love nuts, so you can, and this is amazing, this honey yeah, mustard pecan Yeah, that's really good. Pecan dip. I totally forgot it was even in the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, love I have it. thought about it every day. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really like, you know, eat it here, but I just have thought about it. So You can, you're allowed. <laughs> it's all good. It's so good. I, I, the house rule is that um, anybody can eat anything unless there's a label on it that says like, save do this, not do eat. not eat. <laughs> yes, which is how our cinnamon chips disappeared because um, I gave David, did Darren the full right to eat them. I was like, go ahead, Darren. It's okay, you can have them. Oh, and, um, yeah, I totally didn't realize that you had bought them before. <laughs> the charcuterie board. So, Darren had them. <laughs> I should have known better, but you know, <laughs> boys. <laughs> It's always fun though, you know, like when you get something, you're like, okay, well now I'll just improvise because I had so many different things here. But right, I love it. You see how the color though is like popping everywhere. I do like this. So, yes. and then you don't have to put them all in here. Like you can take them out and. Yeah, I never it. actually thought of leaving them in the bowls, but then it's kind of adds some dimension. Yes. If you're doing that with the nuts. And sometimes it's kind of weird with the nuts too, if you know, they get scattered everywhere and you feel like you're scraping the board well, to try to get them. Sometimes the nut thing is nice too, because you don't know, some people like to be conscious of the allergies right Some especially now want, yes, yes but I like to do it just too like you said you know it's nice to be able to pick and grab yeah. also too because you can grab them and then like dip them here exactly little onesies and twosies yeah and the yes. dimensions nice I also like to use ones because I like I told you earlier like different um, not just dimensions but colors because mm -hmm. it pops yeah. so I like using pottery pieces and things like that um, oh yeah, because the, the green grapes would be a nice little. Yep. Yeah, so this yeah. we could leave it over here to the side, and like oh. you said, you can take the grapes, you can leave them on the Look vine, at that. and you can like I mean you can literally make these things so easy. Okay, now we're getting layers. This is a layered epic, epic charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly how nice. you make these. Is it's so people think, oh well, what do I, what do I have to do here? No, you just like shove things in corners, right. kind of deal. Let's get this out of your way so you can actually see. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. And there's nothing right or wrong about how you make these right? again. And I love the little rose petals. Put those right on. Let's get this one. And then, so we did some cut up ones. You can always do more cut up ones or you can just take color as well. Nice. nice. Look at that. Looking good, sister. I like it. I like it. And it's just pretty. We're gonna have a good lunch, honey. Come on, help me have some lunch. <laughs> See, and I love what you did with the rose petals there. Right, why not? Well, I took your inspiration from this side, right? Yeah, see, nice. and it just pops. Okay, all right, and then, oh, I like that kind of dipping over the side. Oh yeah, I like that. This nice. is so pretty. Falling over the side. Okay, are we ready for the syrup? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, how's that drizzle? Looks perfect. Nice. Now, if it was me, I'd just. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, who's hungry? It's Love so it. pretty. Right. Looks so good. Nice job there, sister. Thanks. All right. So hopefully That's you beautiful. are inspired to make something really fantastic for Valentine's Day, and there you go. Our epic. Charcuterie. charcuterie board courtesy of the easy slice family we'll see you next time